Hi guys, you're welcome to another wonderful episode of Creative Warehouse and I'm your host Sammy Joe. I'm so excited about today's topic because it is the fundamental knowledge every filmmaker and cinematographer needs to have to be able to tell a better story. And today we're going to be talking about types of shots for better filmmaking. As a filmmaker and videographer, it's always important to have the end in mind whilst you're shooting because the camera is the eyes through which your audience sees. So the only way you'd be able to control what they see and feel is by the kind of shots. So I'll dive right into it without wasting your time. The first one is extreme long shots. This kind of shot is used to show the subject from a distance. With extreme long shot, the subject is usually very small in the frame because it's particularly useful to establish and introduce a scene, especially when you want your audience to focus on the environment rather than the subject. The second is the long shot. With a long shot, the entirety of your shot captures your subject from head to toe. It also shows a bit of the environment, but wants you to focus more on the subject than the environment. The next is a medium shot. A medium shot is the kind of shot that captures your subject from head to waist. With this kind of shot, you want your audience to focus better on the subject than the environment. The next is medium close-up. This falls between a medium shot and a close-up. Usually the framing for this kind of shot is from chest upwards. Using this kind of shot comes handy when you're introducing your character or your subject to the audience. The next type of shot is close-up. With a close-up shot, the subject feels three quarters of the screen, allowing the audience to focus only on the subject. The essence of a close-up shot is actually to get a closer, intimate interaction between the audience and the subject. Say for instance, you're discussing with somebody, you're up close with the person and you're you know, paying attention, looking at the person's face. The interaction kind of connects more than when you're speaking far away or when you're speaking from a distance, right? That's the essence of a close-up shot. The next one is a choker. A choker is the kind of shot that is tighter than a close-up. It frames from the forehead to below the mouth. With a choker, you use it to express emotions like fears, tears, anger, or tension. The last but not the least is extreme close-up. An extreme close-up shot is even tighter than a choker. It emphasizes on certain areas or details of the subject like the eyes, the mouth, or certain other areas that you have to get up close. Say for instance, your subject needs to make say a certain word and you need to emphasize on that word. Then you take an extreme close-up shot of the subject's mouth. Or another example, the subject is very, very angry and you need to get the eye lines of the subject so that the audience will be able to look through the eyes of the subject and see how angry they are then you take an extreme close-up shot. So it is actually for details. That's basically all for the types of shots for better filmmaking. Now, understanding this kind of shot or the different types of shots doesn't necessarily mean that whenever you want to shoot a video, then you need to apply all the types of shots. No. The whole essence of this is understanding the various kinds of shots and their relevance. So that when you're shooting, you understand what shot best fits your video. That'll be all for now until I come your way next time when I'll be talking to you about angles. You know short is about distance but angle is about positioning. So I'm going to be telling you different kinds of angles that you can apply to your video in order to create a cinematic style. Thank you for being with us throughout this video. You can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate and see you next week. My name remains Sammy Joe and thank you for watching Creative Warehouse.